Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're diving into the world of military tech. And no, not your granddad's dusty old tank. I'm talking cutting edge, straight out of sci-fi advancements that the US military is projected to have up and running by 2025. Yeah, you heard that right, 2025. We're talking lasers, hypersonic missiles that could cross continents in minutes, robots that could give the Terminator a run for its money. Buckle up, folks, because things are about to get wild. We're gonna break down some of the biggest game changers from directed energy weapons, yeah, I said lasers, to hypersonic tech that'll make you wonder if we figured out time travel. We're talking real deal, already in development tech that's gonna reshape warfare as we know it. So if you're as curious as I am about the future of defense, and let's be honest, who isn't at least a little curious about laser beams and robot armies? Then stick around, hit that subscribe button, and let's jump right into the fascinating and maybe a little bit scary world of 2025 military tech. All right, folks, let's kick things off with the one you've all been waiting for, Directed Energy Weapons, or DUs. Yep, we're talking lasers, baby. Now I know what you're thinking. Lasers? That's so Star Wars. And you wouldn't be entirely wrong. The concept of using concentrated energy to neutralize targets has been a sci-fi staple for decades. But guess what? The future is now. The US military has been researching and developing DWs for years, and they're getting really good at it. These things aren't just your childhood laser pointers, folks. We're talking high-powered beams of light that can travel at the speed of light and disable drones, missiles, even vehicles. Imagine a weapon with pinpoint accuracy, lightning fast speed, and an unlimited magazine. No more running out of ammo in the middle of a firefight. The current generation of DDWs is designed for more tactical applications. Think about taking out enemy drones or disabling incoming missiles before they can reach their target. The potential here is mind-blowing. Imagine a future where warships are equipped with laser cannons that can shoot down threats in the blink of an eye or ground vehicles armed with DWs that can disable enemy vehicles without causing massive collateral damage. And here's another cool thing about DWs. They're incredibly cost-effective in the long run. A single shot from a laser weapon costs just a few bucks worth of electricity compared to thousands of dollars for a single missile. Of course, there are still some challenges to overcome before DWs become the go-to weapon system. But with the rapid pace of technological advancement, it's only a matter of time before we see DWs become a game changer on the battlefield. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to step into a world where the line between science fiction and reality gets seriously blurry. Robotics and autonomous systems. That's right, we're talking about robots on the battlefield. Now, before you start picturing Arnold Schwarzenegger in a leather jacket, Let's be clear, we're not quite there yet, but we're getting closer. The US military is investing heavily in developing autonomous systems that can perform a wide range of tasks, from reconnaissance and surveillance, to bomb disposal and even combat. These robots come in all shapes and sizes, from small drone-like devices that can scout ahead and provide real-time intelligence to larger ground-based vehicles that can carry heavy equipment or even engage in direct combat now, the idea of robots fighting our wars might seem a little unsettling at first, and believe me, there are a lot of ethical and moral considerations to be worked out. But think about it this way. Autonomous systems could potentially save countless lives by taking humans out of harm's way. Imagine a squad of robots sent in to clear a minefield or a drone swarm that can engage enemy combatants without risking the lives of pilots. And it's not just about keeping soldiers safe. Autonomous systems can also significantly enhance a military's capabilities. The real game changer is artificial intelligence, or AI, which brings us to our next chapter. Okay, folks, now it's time to talk about the brains behind these futuristic war machines. Artificial intelligence, or AI. And no, I'm not talking about some Hollywood villain hell-bent on destroying humanity. 
we're talking about sophisticated algorithms and machine learning that can process information, adapt to changing situations, and even make decisions, all at lightning speed. In the context of the military, AI has the potential to revolutionize everything from strategic planning and decision-making to target identification and weapon deployment. Imagine AI systems analyzing massive amounts of data from satellites, drones, and ground sensors to provide commanders with real-time battlefield intelligence and predict enemy movements with incredible accuracy. AI can also enhance the capabilities of autonomous systems, allowing them to operate with greater independence and effectiveness. Remember those robots we talked about earlier? Well, imagine them being able to learn from their experiences, adapt to new situations, and even coordinate their actions as a team, all without any human intervention. Of course, the development of AI in a military context isn't without its concerns. Issues like algorithmic bias, unintended consequences, and the potential for autonomous weapon systems to make life or death decisions without human oversight are all serious ethical dilemmas that need to be carefully considered. But there's no denying that AI is a game changer and its impact on the future of warfare will be profound. All right, folks, buckle up because we're about to enter the digital battleground, cyber warfare. Forget tanks and missiles. In this arena, the weapons are lines of code and the battlefield is the virtual world. In today's hyper-connected world, cyber attacks are a very real and dangerous threat. Everything from power grids to financial institutions relies on computer networks. And when it comes to national security, the stakes are even higher. We're talking about protecting critical infrastructure and classified information. Cyber warfare can take many forms. It could be a sophisticated hacking operation or spreading disinformation or it could be a combination, creating chaos on a massive scale. The U.S. military is investing heavily in cyber warfare capabilities. This includes recruiting elite teams and developing sophisticated software. But it's not just about playing defense. The U.S. military is also developing offensive cyber capabilities to cripple enemy infrastructure. Hold on tight, folks, because we're about to enter the realm of hypersonic technology where speed is the name of the game and it's unlike anything you've ever seen. We're talking about missiles that can travel at five times the speed of sound or faster, maneuvering through the atmosphere at mind-boggling speeds that make traditional defense systems look like they're standing still. Imagine a weapon that can travel from New York to Los Angeles in less than 30 minutes. That's the kind of speed we're talking about with hypersonic technology. Now, I know what you're thinking, missiles are already pretty fast, right? Well, hypersonic missiles take things to a whole new level. They're not just faster, they're also highly maneuverable, making them incredibly difficult to track and intercept. This combination of speed and agility makes hypersonic weapons a game changer in terms of military strategy. They could allow a nation to strike targets anywhere in the world with incredible speed and precision, potentially overwhelming even the most sophisticated defense systems. The development of hypersonic technology is a top priority for the U.S. military, as well as for other world powers like Russia and China. The implications of hypersonic technology for global security are significant. All right, folks, for our final chapter, let's talk about a technology that's changing the game in more ways than one 3D printing, also known as additive manufacturing. Now you might be thinking, 3D printing? Isn't that for making little plastic toys and trinkets? And yeah, it can do that. But this technology is capable of so much more, and the military is taking notice. Imagine a world where you can print custom-designed drones, weapons, even entire vehicles on demand, right there on the battlefield. No more waiting weeks or even months for parts to be shipped from factories across the world. With 3D printing, you can create what you need, when you need it, with incredible precision and speed. Now I know what you're thinking, 3D printed guns? Isn't that dangerous? Well, like any technology, it can be used for good or evil. But, in the hands of the military, 3D printing has the potential to revolutionize logistics, reduce costs, and even save lives. Think about it. 
Instead of transporting massive amounts of equipment and spare parts across continents, imagine being able to deploy a small team with a 3D printer. They could create everything from replacement parts for vehicles and weapons to custom medical implants, all on site and on demand. 3D printing also allows for a level of customization and innovation that was simply impossible before. The possibilities are practically limitless, and the U.S. military is just scratching the surface of what 3D printing can do for defense. So there you have it, folks. A glimpse into the future of military technology. From lasers and robots to hypersonic missiles and 3D printed weapons, the next decade promises to be a time of unprecedented technological advancement in the military realm. If you're as fascinated by the future of warfare as I am, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos on the latest in military tech and defense. And while you're at it, let me know in the comments which of these technologies you think will have the biggest impact on the future of warfare. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.